what you see is that the 56 bits are split in two halves in D0 and C0. Each of them is, of course, 28 bits, right? 28 bits here, 28 bits here, together 56 bits. And what happens then is you see the thing LS1. Okay, so that's the next element we want to discuss. That would be number B. LSI, I call that, because, you know, then I, I runs through LSI, runs 1, 2, 3, up to 16. That's A. It's called left shift. What it's really is, it's a little bit inexact. It's really a left rotate. It's also in a rotation. It's not just shifting to the left, but shifting to the left. And then the, you know, the bits that fall down, that drop down here, they put in at the right hand side again. Okay. And it's very specific by how many positions you shift. Right? I mean, you, you, you know, you, you, have, you have bits of 28 bits length and you shift them to the left. Now the big question is, do we shift by one position, two position, three position, four position, up to 27 positions, right, or rotate, right? And this is very specific, namely LSI. This does the following number of shifts. This is either one position shift for the rounds i equal 1, 2, 9, and 16. So for those, those four rounds, the left shift does a bit shift by one bit position. Okay, everything shifts left by one position. In all the other rounds, two position shift for all other i. Okay, that means three, four, and so forth, but ni not nine and 16. Note, beachte, total number of um, bit position shifted It's the following. So the four rounds where we shift by one bit, right? The round number one, two, nine, and sixteen, we rotate by one position. So this is four times one. And how many how many rounds are left? So the four rounds where we shift by one position, how many rounds are there where we shift by two positions here? Twelve, right? The 16 rounds, four rounds, we shift only one position. There's a 12 other positions, right? Plus 12 points 2. So this is 4 plus 24 is 28. So 28 positions. Okay. And that should sound familiar because this number 28 comes up a few times in this, di in this block diagram over there, right? So. We have, you know, because we have 20, 28 bits here. So what's happening, in we, we start with C0, 28 bits. We do a, you know, one bit shift here, a one bit shift here. And then in most other rounds, we shift by two, by two positions. And we only, the rot this shift, this rotation only happens within C0. So there's no crosstalk, can übersprechen between C0 and D0, right? This is, this is a hard boundary here. Okay, so you only shift within this 28 bits. And what we just figured out, by the time we end up at, at LS16, at the last left shift, at this point, you see the, the cursor here? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. By the point, I'm, at the time I'm at this cursor here, at this, at this arrow, on and, and the file, I've sh rotated 28 position. What does this mean? What, what is C16 equal to here? It's, uh, yeah, yeah d you got the idea, right? C16 is exactly the same value as C0. It's just, you know, you rotate. C16 equals C0. 
and um, d16 equals d0. Uh, 